Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a sweet video. This is a utility program for Windows XP, Vista, 7, or 8. Now, this program is called Wismos. Wismos allows you to scroll on inactive windows. So, to kind of show you guys what I mean, I'm going to open up two different programs. So, here I have Microsoft Word, and here I have Chrome open to Lifehacker. Now this is just an example, it works with any type of program, and later I'm going to show you guys a real cool example. But here we go, so let's just say I'm working on a school project or whatever it may be, I'm on Word, I'm typing something. Okay, so I'm just going to type, blah blah, you can see that it's working fine. Now over on Chrome, you have a situation a lot where you want to scroll down. Now normally if you want to scroll from on Chrome or whatever different window it may be, you're going to go over to it, you're going to click on it so that it becomes active. And then you'll, then you'll scroll down or you'll scroll whatever is your mouse or whatever it may be. And then if you want to scroll on Word, you go over and click, you click on Word and then you scroll on that one as well. Now using WizMouse, you can actually scroll on an inactive window without having to click on it. This saves a lot of time, especially if you have multiple monitors or a crap load of things that are open. So let me show you. So like I said, normally you click on something. So here you can see, if I show you guys the Chrome, when I click out of Chrome, it's gray. When I click on it, it kind of gets like deep gray. So you can see off, on, off, on. So I'm gonna click off. You can see up here, guys, it's dolled out, so it is currently inactive. Now, if you guys try this, you will not be able to scroll until you click on it. Now me, using Wizmos activated, I'm putting my mouse over it, not clicked, you guys can still see that it is not clicked. And if I scroll, it actually works. Works perfectly fine. Now if I click on it, it becomes active and it still works scrolling wise. Now I'll go over here to Word where Word is not active and I can scroll on Word without having to activate it. And this is what Wismos does. Wismos works perfectly in any situation. I think it's a great program and you should definitely try it out. Now, if you're interested in trying out Wizmouse, it is a free program. So what you want to do is go to the description below. And I will have a link to this website right here. Once you load it up, click the big click here download button and then just open up the setup file. Just click next and then accept and next. And you can choose the installation space. Only one and a half megabytes are required and then you're pretty much good to go. Once you're done, hit finish, and the settings come up. So you have some different options here. So you have Windows enabled, so basically turn on or off. You have start with Windows, you can hide the tray icon, you can enable mouse wheel for applications without mouse wheel support, and there's a couple of ones like reverse mouse scrolling, runs admin, um, I highly suggest clicking this one. That is because it will allow it to work compatibility with um, programs that are administrative programs. So click that as well. And then that's pretty much it. And then all you have to do is click OK. And it's set up and good to go. Probably the most useful situation with this program is using with multiple monitors. You guys can see here that I have three different windows open. File Explorer, Movie Editing Program, and Chrome. And you guys can see that I can instantly scroll on all of them very fast without having to click on each and every one of them. Best part about this program, it uses not even one megabyte of your RAM and 0% of your CPU. So you will see no performance issues with this program running. So that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like and favorite. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave in the description below. Or, of course, you can tweet me at thehacker 7 And if you love the program, check it out and donate it if you really like it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.